What if I told you the purest thing in your home isn't pure at all? What if every sip of bottled water you thought was clean and life-giving was hiding something you never asked for? In 2024, scientists at Columbia and Rutgers looked inside bottled water with a new laser technique. What they found stunned even veterans. A single liter contained about 240,000 plastic particles. 90% were nanoplastics, so small they can slip through filters and into human cells. Stay with me, because I'm about to reveal five bottled water scandals that may forever change how you see what's inside that plastic bottle. And when you hear the last one, you'll never trust a label again. You've seen it everywhere. Airports, vending machines, corner shops. But behind Dasani's blue label lies one of the biggest bottled water embarrassments of all time. In 2004, Coca-Cola launched Dasani in the UK with a slick, multi-million pound campaign. But journalists quickly uncovered the truth. Dasani wasn't spring water at all. It was purified tap water from London Supply, filtered and repackaged as a premium product. British tabloids had a field day, crude headlines, relentless jokes, a full-on media pile-on. Within days, the damage deepened when regulators found illegal levels of bromate in the water, a chemical byproduct of the purification process and a possible carcinogen. Coca-Cola was forced into a humiliating recall, pulling hundreds of thousands of bottles off shelves. Dasani's UK business collapsed almost overnight. Fast forward to today, and the problems haven't disappeared. Studies have repeatedly shown microplastics in bottled water, and a lot of those fragments likely come from the packaging itself. Heat during shipping and storage accelerates the shedding. Yet, Coca-Cola still markets Dasani as pure, crisp hydration. The truth? It's filtered municipal water, mineral tweaked and sold back at a markup hundreds of times higher than what comes from your tap. Dasani proves that sometimes the world's most famous bottled water is little more than a rebranded illusion with contamination to match. And if Coca-Cola could be caught so red-handed, what about the brand parents trust most for their families? It's in schools, hospitals, and family fridges. Nestle Pure Life, marketed as the safe, everyday choice. But the truth is far from safe. In 2018, an Orb Media investigation tested over 250 bottles across 11 brands. Microplastics were found in 93% of them, and Nestle Pure Life ranked near the top for contamination. Researchers saw fragments of polyethylene, polypropylene, even nylon. But the microscopic story is only half the scandal. The bigger one is underground. Nestle has been accused around the world of draining aquifers in drought-stricken regions, from Michigan in the U.S. to Ontario in Canada to entire communities in Pakistan. In Michigan, Nestle paid just $200 a year in fees to pump hundreds of millions of gallons, while locals faced water shortages. In Pakistan, reports described villages where wells ran dry while bottled trucks rolled out. Communities complained of drying rivers, damaged ecosystems, and zero benefits to residents. In 2021, Nestle sold its North American water brands to new owners, but the legacy, controversies, and the global Pure Life story didn't just vanish. For a brand literally called Pure Life, the contradictions are glaring. Parents believe they're buying bottled safety. In reality, they may be serving their children water laced with plastic, sourced in ways that strip communities of their most precious resource. Nestle's Pure Life isn't purity. It's contamination and exploitation dressed up in a family-friendly label. And if the so-called safe choice can't be trusted, what hope is there for the brands that boast volcanic purity? Filtered through volcanic rock, that's Volvic's slogan. Strong, natural, mineral-rich vitality. But when independent watchdogs scrutinized France's bottled waters, the story didn't hold clean. In recent years, French consumer groups raised alarms about nitrate pollution and other residues in water sources nationwide, and scrutiny fell on the broader regulation of natural mineral waters. Volvic's own published nitrate levels sit far below legal limits, around 7 to 8 milligrams per liter, against a European limit of 50. But the fact that nitrates are even in the conversation shatters the illusion that volcanic purity is untouchable. 
And the concerns didn't stop at chemistry. Environmental activists accused Volvic's parent company, Danone, of over-extracting water from the very springs it markets as pristine. Locals in the Auvergne region complained of shrinking wetlands and depleted rivers. Petitions circulated. Lawsuits followed. Danone insists Volvic meets all legal safety standards, but legal doesn't always mean safe, and it certainly doesn't mean ethical. For consumers, the betrayal is layered. You pay more for the volcanic purity story, only to find residues, depleted ecosystems, and court fights in the fine print. And if volcanic purity has cracks, what about the cheapest bottles, the ones millions of us buy without even thinking? If these hidden truths are making you look at bottled water differently, take a second to hit the like button. It helps more people find this investigation, and it tells the algorithm this is a story worth exposing. And don't go anywhere, because the next cases aren't about luxury illusions, they're about the bottles you probably have in your fridge right now. Why pay premium prices for branded bottles when the supermarket shelf has a cheaper option? Store brands promise the same water for less, but cheap comes at a cost. Investigations across Europe and the US have found microplastics in bottled waters at every price point. Some tests have shown higher counts in certain cheaper brands, while others turned up strange tastes. Cloudiness or chemical residues, often at levels that pass legal limits, but raise eyebrows among health experts. Consumer reports in 2019 also detected PFAS or forever chemicals in some bottled waters sold in the US. Levels varied by product, and even some well-known national brands tested higher than expected. These chemicals don't break down, building up in the body over time, and have been linked to cancer, liver damage, and hormone disruption. Separate investigations flagged a private label spring water for arsenic levels that skirted legal limits, sparking recalls and warnings. The economics explain it. Proper extraction, filtration, and testing cost money. When you're selling a bottle for pennies, corners inevitably get cut. Unlike global brands constantly in the spotlight, supermarket waters often operate in the shadows. Where does the water actually come from? How rigorously is it tested? Most shoppers can't trace it, and the label won't tell you. So while store brand bottles seem like a bargain, what you're really buying is risk. A drink where purity is sacrificed for price, and oversight is minimal. They're the everyday reminder that when it comes to water, cheap doesn't mean smart. It means shortcuts. And if the budget brands can't guarantee purity, what about the ones we trust for local pride and eco-promises? In Ireland, Balagowen is more than a brand. It's local pride, marketed as Ireland's original natural mineral water. Deep wells in County Limerick, eco-friendly bottles, trustworthy, close to home. But look closer and the story unravels. Balagowen's new eco-bottle campaign highlights 100% recyclable plastic. Sounds good. But before Ireland's deposit return scheme launched in 2024, less than half of PET bottles were captured for recycling. Even with the scheme boosting returns dramatically, early figures show capture rising above 80% and climbing. Recyclable isn't the same as recycled, and millions of containers still miss the loop. Then there's the carbon footprint. Balagoan bottles are trucked nationwide to supermarkets and petrol stations. Every mile adds emissions, undercutting the green message. And for all the local branding, Balagoan is owned by Britvic, a multinational, which means the decisions behind that green label aren't necessarily made locally. And it's not just Balagoan. Across Europe, local brands lean heavily on sustainability slogans while operating on the same single-use model. So while the marketing suggests Balagoan is the greener choice, the reality is clear. It's still plastic bottled water with the same environmental baggage. And if the trusted local brand plays the same game, what does that say about bottled water as a whole? So what have we uncovered? Coca-Cola's Dasani, premium bottled tap water pulled from shelves over a carcinogen. Nestle Pure Life, marketed as family safe, yet among the most contaminated with plastics while draining aquifers from Michigan to Pakistan. Volvic, boasting volcanic purity, but shadowed by nitrate worries and lawsuits over depleted springs. Store brands, cheap bottles that cut corners, 
leaving consumers with risk instead of value. And Balagoan, the local pride that sells eco-promises in bottles destined for waste. One truth cuts through them all. Bottled water is not what the labels want you to believe. Behind the blue logos and green slogans lies a product tainted by contamination, deception, and environmental cost. Every year, the world churns out hundreds of billions of plastic bottles, and global recycling rates remain painfully low. It's an environmental footprint bigger than most entire industries, yet it hides behind something as ordinary as a plastic bottle of water. And here's the bigger question. If even water, the simplest, most essential thing we consume, can't be trusted, what else in our kitchens and supermarkets is hiding behind glossy packaging? If this video opened your eyes, share it with someone who deserves to know the truth. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next investigation into the hidden corners of the everyday products we trust most.